So you were now an assistant lecturer at Keio, and was it then that you went on to do your PhD, your doctoral thesis? Ah, uh, in Japan, uh, the PhD now changing, but mm. in my uh, day, mm. um, PhD was uh, some ten or twenty years later. later. After I came to, uh, everyone came to. Yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. So, wh what, you, uh, what is the connection? Uh, at the beginning, you were just lecturing on economics and economic history and mercantilism and things like this. Mm. When did you start getting interested in historical demography? Uh, <coughs> it is very some extent strange, hmm. some extent lucky. Yes. Uh, at first, my study, studying topic at Keio hmm. was land survey of um, Japan uh, around 1600. Hmm. This is really um, very um, Fascinating topic. Mm -hmm. uh, the Toyotomi Hideyoshi, you may know, mm -hmm. uh, yes. un unified Japan and mm -hmm. started to run the survey as uh, as uh, Bill William the first mm -hmm. and so Doomsday book. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, the, the result is now <laughs> just you're just publishing your publishing. book on it. And uh, after that, uh, uh, after I um, wrote some papers, I lost my way. I have no subject particularly to concentrate. And uh, fortunately, in Keio University, um, there was a system of study in going abroad and uh, <coughs> because of war and just after the war's time uh, so many professors uh, could not come out hmm. the, the For, for the for the study and and uh, a new president of Keio decided uh, to establish and to establish uh, the to send younger scholars of Keio for going to abroad. The, he um, he uh, collected Fukuzawa Foundation, mm -hmm. established Fukuzawa Foundation. Mm -hmm. And I was fortunately um, selected the second mm -hmm. uh, Fukuzawa Foundation game. game yeah. mm -hmm. And I, st I left Japan '63, mm. and uh, come back '64. Mm. One and five, one and a half years mm. I spent uh, Europe. Mm. And at first, uh, I, at the time, Japan was not so rich, mm. and. Uh, I, I guess this time was only one chance hmm. to come out from Japan, so that I stopped over first Tehran, Baghdad, Damascus, Beirut, Cairo, Athens, so on and so on. Hmm. Um, but I 
couldn't enter in Baghdad for visa problem. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I I uh, climb up mm. the pyramid. Mm. At the time, it's okay. And the top of the pyramid, mm. something come, some idea come to me. This huge ancient civilization, uh, the who was to succeed such huge ancient civilization? Mm. It's Christian. In in Japan, the at the time, the society was. Ancient civilization, medieval time, mm. and capitalist time, mm -hmm. capitalism, and maybe socialism. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> and but on the top of pyramid, this idea is totally mm. Mm, incorrect. Mm. And uh, there are uh, several lines of develop development, roots of um, de development. And uh, um, the ancient civilization uh, can be disappeared. Mm -hmm. And so this is coming I mean, first my idea outside of Japan mm. and uh, as my uh, nominal uh, reason to come out in Japan was come to Portugal and uh, make research the Portuguese and uh, Japanese relation mm. Um, particularly in trade mm -hmm. uh, in 16th and early 17th centuries. Mm. And I arrived to Portugal and uh, come to the, the archive of overseas, mm. uh, overseas history, but the the documents I couldn't read only one line. <laughs> the, they were in Portuguese. <laughs> the Portuguese. I, I speak some Port Portuguese, mm. but um, the Portuguese in 16th centuries mm. were different, mm. and some documents are written in Spanish, mm. Italian, or Latin, mm. so that I realized if I could stay here more than five years, mm. I could do something, but only one year. Mm. Helpless. Mm. So, first few months, I was so confused. Um, and I um, came to one bookshop, mm. and the master of bookshop kindly introduced me to famous uh, Portuguese scholar, Godinho, his name is Godinho. 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 He uh, received a PhD at uh, France, mm. and, uh, but he was purged by Salazar. Mm. So I was, I... Mm. Your uh, eyes were open. <laughs> and uh, meet him, and he can manage English very well, and we discuss about Portuguese uh, expansion. Mm. But uh, at any date, I couldn't. If I couldn't read Portuguese documents, mm. I it is uh, worthless to stay in Portugal more than. Mm. So I. Before I left Japan, 
I uh, learned Portuguese from Portuguese diplomats mm -hmm. and uh, European diplomats have had so many times the party mm -hmm. and uh, one day he took me at the party mm -hmm. and introduced uh, several uh, um, di diplomats of mm -hmm. Germany Belgium, French, mm. and some, and uh, one of them, Belgian diplomat, is very uh, kindful, and we became friends. And uh, I wrote letter to this person, Belgian diplomat, in Lisbon. I I could do nothing. Mm. I would like to study in Belgium because I bought a book on the sh bookshop in Lisbon uh, written by Belgian economic historian mm. um, Fer uh, Ferlinden, Ch mm. Charles Ferlinden is, mm. was his name, teaching at Ghent University. And in Ghent University, uh, my most res respective historian mm. and Pirene was taught uh, taught mm. uh, his class at Ghent University mm. and uh, another reason to come to Ghent was mm. uh, Dutch historian uh, <laughs> sorry uh, famous historian. Hoisinger? No, no. Hmm? Not Hoisinger. Hoisinger. Hmm. Hoisinger was uh, uh, obtained some hmm. inspiration from the hmm. chapel. Um, hmm. So if yeah. I hmm. came to Ghent, hmm. I could expect something up there mm. and I d drove a small car on to, from Lisbon to Ghent uh, via Pyrenees mm. and uh, Western France and Ghent. In, it was uh, January or... No, no. In November of in 63, 63. Mm. and I arrived at the end date, and to the university office, and I uh, learned by Professor Rinden. Mm. But the reply was, he was sabbat sabbatical. Mm. And he was now Rome. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I, um, instead of him, another Belgian historian, Carbex, mm. um, he's not so famous, mm. uh, but uh, the age was almost the same to me, mm. and we became the friend. And uh, one day he brought two books. Mm. Now in Europe, this study is very um, coming up. Yeah, that is Ruyan Li. Ruyan Li, you, you know, French historical demographer. Who who is this? Ruy Amri. How do you spell it? Le Roi La Durie? No. Louis Henri. Oh, Louis Henri. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Yes, the great French historical monopher, yes. But I read it mm. with my dictionary, mm -hmm. and uh, instantly I realized this is a revolutionary book mm. on population history. Mm. And historical dem demography is now emerging. 
uh, in Japan, nobody knows historical demography. Mm. So after that, I read the book mm. and asked him, um, Henry, uh, Gravex, mm. something. He was not a um, um, demographer, but uh, he, he, he was uh, a price historian. Mm. Uh, at any rate, um, I enjoyed mm. so much in 64. Mm. And uh, <coughs> Ferrinden and Ferrquaterin in that uh, Belgian uh, diplomat mm. in Tokyo kindly uh, get some um, scholarship for mm. me so that I could enlarge my mm. stay in Europe more than a uh, more half year mm. and so that I stayed in Europe one and a half year. Mm. And I came back to Japan um, the summer of 64, just before 65, Tokyo Olympic. 65, 64 was it? 64. Mm -hmm. Just before to Tokyo Olympic. Mm. But Tokyo Olympic is out of my <laughs> mm. interest. Uh, and I uh, collected material, so population history, mm. and particularly I know the uh, Shumon Aratamecho mm. uh, because my guiding professor Nomura mm. was uh, interested to the population. Mm. And he published already two books on the data of Tokuma Japan mm. and he planned the third book of um, population data. Mm. Japan, and I even I assisted him mm. to some extent. So I know in Japan uh, there are a lot of uh, materials. Yeah, mm. materials. So I started to, to collect and write um, articles. But in Japan, then no no reaction hmm. so that I I wrote uh, in English my hmm. mm, off English <laughs> and uh, send it to people yeah. hmm. so um, Tom Smith Tom, Thomas C. Smith hmm. in the yes. United States on and in 68, I received a letter from International, International Economic History Association, mm. uh, which had the fourth uh, conference in Bloomington, Indiana, in mm. the United States. And the session organizer asking me, uh, you have the interest to give your paper at the at the session. We the, the, they wrote we have your travel course. Mm. Oh, I I what's lucky on me? Mm. I became to to the to the conference with my paper. Mm. And uh, <coughs> uh, um, but it was my first debut at the mm. inter international conference. I was so nervous mm. and shaking, shaking. <laughs> and when I uh, uh, look out, mm. I, I lost which part I read. <laughs> <laughs> So I was so uh, uh, down, uh, I failed mm. uh, when finished. But uh, after the session, 
one person came to me, very interesting. If you not uh, do not uh, have not uh, to make any engagement to publish it, mm. please give your paper to me. He was Blue Ali. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And my paper was the published in an hour. Oh, no. Yeah. Couldn't be better. Yeah. Mm. It was uh, totally beginner's luck. Mm. Yeah. But after my paper was on the an hour, so many mm. uh, correspondents with mm. uh, foreign scholars. And in 69, mm. Peter Raslett invited me mm. to his conference. Mm. And so on households. Yeah. Mm. My, the yeah, um, world is... <laughs> expanding. Yeah. You said that at that conference, the two Japanese yes. uh, contributors were you and Nakanechi, Nakane, yes. and that your interpretations of Japanese demography and uh, family history were mm. households were so different mm. that Peter Laslett was quite confused. Mm -hmm. What was the difference? What was her view and what was your yeah. view? Nakane was uh, that the family structure was not changed. Mm. Japan was STEM family society. Mm. As far as she knows. Mm. But my empirical studies, mm. the early Tokugawa days, Japanese um, families are extended from. Mm. And during Tokugawa days, they, they changed to STEM family. Mm. This is totally different. Mm. Very different. Mm. And which of you has been proven right since then? I believe myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, last week we talked mm. with uh, mm. Emmanuel Todd. Yes. Over there. Oh, yes. Yeah. And uh, we talked about this. Mm. Mm. And he agrees with you. Mm. Uh, my idea is the sh human being first uh, lived in joint family system mm. and in some part it came to uh, STEM family mm. and finally uh, nuclear family. Mm. So, but some, uh, somewhere still um, joint family remain, or stem family remain, or uh, change to nuclear family. This is my mm. idea, mm. but <laughs> uh, um, Todd said, I think it's the, way around. Yeah. <laughs> the mankind started from from uh, nuclear family, and then <laughs> joint family, uh, uh, stem family, and finally uh, joint family. It, it's <laughs> <laughs> very curious for me. Mm. Mm. He's quite an argumentative person, I think, <laughs> having taught him and uh, supervised him. At least I, I examined his PhD thesis many years ago. He was one of Peter Lazarin's students. Um, so when you now were being um, spreading out into a much wider world of historical demography, um, I wondered whether you could, if someone asked you what you think your two or three major achievements, most interesting ideas or techniques or whatever, in historical demography have been, what you would like to be remembered for. Could you tell me, answer that? My own? Yes. This is just, will be <coughs> published 
Just coming out. Yeah, so. I think this is my. Migration, the intersection Migration. of interclass mobility yeah. and geographical mobility. This means uh, uh, the migration mostly uh, occurred from rural to urban area, uh, uh, lower, lower class, and uh, the higher class, several migrations happen, but others remain there. Mm. And uh, the lower class, from lower class, uh, migrated to to urban area, and but died area for urban graveyard effect mm -hmm. or if fortunately they came back to the village the age at marriage was very delayed mm -hmm. so that the number of ch children was very limited mm -hmm. i i um, developed yeah. idea yeah yes and so that they um, lost the successor mm -hmm. But in upper class, the the migration is sure, so that the branched family, uh, mm. are many there are many branched families. Mm. The branch family is always down 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 with the yeah, mm. lower class. Mm. So the pocket of uh, Empty pocket of mm. down uh, lower classes uh, absorbed by them mm. from the upper class. Yeah. So that <coughs> geographical <coughs> migration and um, horizontal mm. um, mobility yeah, mm. is crossed. Mm. That's yeah, I found this. Hmm. In what period is this happening? Hmm? When is this happening? Is it the 18th century, the 19th? 18th century, 18th, 19th century. Hmm. Yeah. Another, I remember you telling me once a few years ago that your uh, the big project you were hmm. directing in Kyoto was finding that the marriage strategies and the demography and the family structures which often people think of as fairly uniform in Japan mm. in fact was very different mm. can you tell me something about that yes sorry this is the uh, Print of at uh, the economic development and yeah. demo family patent. Mm. I selected three areas yes. from my collection mm. of, um, and and analyze the the micro data mm -hmm. and <coughs> coming uh, 
at first the the this is the population change between mm. this 125 years yes and this area depopulated yeah, and this area too yes and this and this area increased uh, increased mm. this this these two are exceptions but, but data mm. I, I guess so in um, from uh, uh, so that Japanese population is not similar, mm. uh, very uh, much uh, differentiated. Mm. Mm. I always said Japan is not one. Mm. <laughs> Somebody is Japan is one, but mm. I, I don't believe Japan is one. And uh, for example, um, Average uh, size of household mm. is high mm. over six, and uh, in the center of Japan under 4.5, mm. and uh, average uh, number of couple by by household is much uh, Greater higher than, than mm. North East Japan mm. and, and here mm -hmm. small and uh, um, this is average age at marriage of female mm. uh, very Much young, younger. yeah, mm. and uh, yeah. yeah, I um, counted by John Hainer's method. Mm. Mm. And <sighs> and I made some simulation. Three areas mm. uh, by mm, household size mm. and etc. And this is distribution of um, 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 household size mm. uh, s and. In southwest Western Japan, uh, more than ten people live mm. in one house, but here uh, the largest is eight, mm. and uh, this is uh, number of generations mm. in household and. Uh, it, it is a bit difficult to, mm. <laughs> yeah, but three, uh, four, four generations mm. or three ge generations in North East, mm. and uh, two generations and three generations mm. half and half, mm. and three generations about two, two thirds, mm. and three generations. Yeah. And so very different, and uh, this is a uh, distribution of couples, number of couples per household, mm -hmm. and, and finally, this is my recent. Mo most recent um, <coughs> finding. This is uh, um, number of uh, percentage of um, 
productive age population、うん、per household、うん、in northeast, central, and southwest.、うん、you can look、uh, in northeastern Japan, the, of course, there are, the, there are、um, fluctuations,、うんうん、but rather it is not so big. This is over time. time.、Mm. This is time. 100 years.、Mm. Uh, this is simulation one, one year, one year.、Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so that the Northeast Japan, early marriage and small, small、um, uh, sorry, and Asia to marriage is low. And,、mm. and the, but the stop, stopping of、mm. child、mm. bearing is early.、Mm. So、um, <coughs> this is、um, contradictory.、Mm. Um, if、um, population lim-、um, must be limited, Mm. The marriage must be delayed.、Mm. So, but early marriage and early stopping these、mm. areas,、uh, Northeast Japan's future.、Mm. This, this is caused、mm. that the fluctuation. At minimum,、mm. mm. but in central Japan, the fluctuation is so big.、Mm. Uh, sometimes 100%, but within 10 years, 10, 15 years,、mm. almost to.、Uh, mm. 250.0.250.、Mm. Uh, mm. um, grows and decline, grows, decline,、mm. grows, decline.、Mm. Very interesting. So, <clears throat> how in such、uh, um, circumstances people can be survived?、Mm. Uh, in central Japan, there are mutual、um, uh, banking systems、mm. developed in Tokugawa Japan.、Mm. If one family came to down this, maybe this family was poor.、Mm. And so, in this time, the mutual、um, finance,、mm. financial system supported.、Mm. And when they became 100%, person,、mm. they back. Pay it yeah, back. Yeah,、mm. I see. So,、um, we can.、Uh, um, uh, Explain why in central Japan such mutual、mm. financial system exists.、Mm. Very interesting. I remember you at that time, you may have changed your mind thinking that these very different patterns, particularly the northeast, the central, and the south,、yeah. might be related to the origins、mm. of the people coming into Japan from different. Backgrounds.、Yeah. The, no, the northern ones are from、yeah. Korea、yeah. and、um, north, very north China.、Yeah. The middle ones from middle China.、Yeah. And the southern ones from the Pacific、yeah. and Polynesia and so on. Do you still think that might be the case? Yes. My next、uh, plan is maybe I, I have、mm, more five years.、Um, 
to be able to study mm. continue uh, so that the next generation will come uh, will uh, do it uh, we should we should um, join with the um, natural science scientific mm. vessel mm. DNA mm. Uh, in Japan, you know, DNA um, profiling. Mm. DNA. Uh, uh, well, they you call it DNA profiling, which means profiling. that you take you take mm. the DNA. DNA, uh, particularly for for Mito for mitochond mitochondrial. Female. Mitochondrial d DNA. Ah. Mm. Uh, in Europe, the yes. seven, seven. Yeah. In Japan, nine. Mm. In world, thirty-five. Mm. In this small island, there are nine kinds of really DNA. Mm. In Europe, several countries, mm. they have seven. Seven. You have nine in Japan. Uh, nine. So that in Japan there are several people mm. come and live. Mm. So um, the locality, locality mm. is very strong, dialect is strong, mm. face is very different, mm. <laughs> and uh, mm, yeah. Uh, so that next mm, I don't know if it, it, it is possible to the time after this time mm. but uh, I would do wish to to make the big project mm. with uh, DNA scholars mm. Yeah. Mm, that would be fascinating uh, the, the last question I had really on your work was one part of a very small part but an interesting one, an important one, which was your well-known argument about the industrious mm. and the industrial revolution. Mm. Can you explain to me how you had that idea and what it is, what it means? Mm -hmm. what, 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 is the, uh, what is the difference between a, an industrial revolution and an industrious revolution. Uh, and when I did when yeah. did you have this idea? Yeah, I think the the final goal, uh, as a, um, the people think at the time, say mm. to up the level of uh, living standard, mm. and 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 in Japan. This uh, would be uh, realized to work hard, mm. but in the West, particularly in England, to realize it, to use the machinery. Yeah, machinery. Mm. So that is the main difference. Yeah. Mm. And why is there that difference? Is it to do with rice cultivation, do you think? Um, at first, uh, Japanese agriculture mm. is um, not adequate to large size mm. um, because the, the rice planting is mm. very, very small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they must. Um, Level, yeah. So they didn't have much space, and they had very small holdings, and they had to work very hard on them. Whereas in Europe, they had big fields. Gro and, and growing even, green. even the wheat mm. can be uh, long, mm. no, slope, mm. but rice wheat. Yes. <laughs> yep. And it needs water too. Um, so I've 
kept you and we've talked for a good length of time, but are there any other topics, subjects, questions you would have liked me to ask you to talk about? Or uh, There's no need, but if, you, if there's something I've missed... I was all, uh, almost naked. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. are hmm. uh, ladies. Either about your family or about your about Keio or Japan or the future of Japan, anything there is no need, but I always like to ask people if I have missed anything mm -hmm. it, very very important, mm -hmm. otherwise they will be dissatisfied so but if you feel we have covered everything, that's fine. Perhaps I said you almost all of my myself. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll we'll stop there, yeah. and thank you very much indeed. No, it's been a great pleasure to be influenced by your yeah. work. Thank you. Mm -hmm.